This is Donald with the JapanGuy.com, and this is Japan Talk, session five. You know what's always good to talk about? Rubbing and touching and skin and friction. Mmm. Okay, that's not exactly what we're going to talk about today, but kind of, sort of. Are you familiar with the expression skinship? Skinship. I had never heard the word until I came to Japan, and I haven't heard it outside of Japan. Japan is notorious for taking English words and then combining them and just having it go terribly, terribly wrong. So, for example, like the store hard off, that doesn't work, man. But in the case of skinship, it actually works out. So they were pretty clever. So they took the word skin and then you take the word kinship. And when you put skin and kinship together, what do you get? Skinship. Skinship. So what is skinship exactly? Here's how the Urban Dictionary defines skinship. Skinship. In Japan and Korea, the term skinship is used to describe the intimacy or closeness between a mother and child. Today, the word is generally used for bonding through physical contact. The way I define skinship, I would just say it's human connection through touch. Maybe with two or more people. So what are some good examples of skinship? There's, there's hand holding. There are hugs. Brugs. It's like the bro hug where you put the hand out and you're like this. They don't do that in Japan. Um, not very often. Like the nuzzling thing where you put noses together. It's like, mm -hmm. that could be one. Pecks, like the pet kisses. Good, old-fashioned, sloppy, wet, open-mouth kissing. That's also skinship on a different level. Just because the word skinship exists in Japan does not mean that people practice it. Uh, that was one of the biggest shockers to me when I got here was how little people actually physically touch each other in Japan. Um, not to say that that's good or bad, but it's just one of the realities that I wasn't used to. Like, I, I remember coming up as a kid, I hugged my mom and dad every day. But I've talked to people in Japan that said, like, they never really hugged their parents. They never really kissed their parents, they never, you know? So that was a big, big one to me. And I remember seeing this family at the airport, and, you know, the, the guy looked like he was about to leave, and nobody hugged anybody. Like, he was going on this long trip, had a lot of bags, and all they did was kind of bow to each other and wave, and then that was it. Or, like, when you go to the station, if you ever see, like, girls getting ready to go out for a night out, like, sometimes you'll see three or four, four girls kind of run together, and it's like they don't know what to do. They're happy to see each other, but they don't know what to do. So they're like, oh, he's such a booty. And they're just, like, like, touching hands like this. I'm like, just hug her. And while we're on the topic of hugs, yeah. Uh, that is one of my pet peeves as well. Those little weak behind hugs that you get sometimes here in Japan. Like, you know, the the arse out, like the 45 degree where the hands go on the shoulders and it's just like, oh, like this. That's not a hug. So with this word skinship, my question to you today is, is it better to live in a society where there's more skinship or less skinship? This is a very, very easy answer for me. Uh, more skinship for me, please. I There's just hands down no question for me. But the answer may not be as clear-cut to you, so I just want to hear what your thoughts are. But you never know. There may be a benefit to, to less skinship in a society. Could that be the reason why, you know, if you leave something on the train, people don't necessarily touch it? Who knows? Uh, maybe it means that you end up being less sick. But that's one that we'd have to test with all the variables being the same because I suspect it's no difference in the number of people who get sick um, because I notice on the train and stuff sometimes and in public people sneeze and cough right into the air no hands no nothing but that's that's another story what's the benefit of having more skinship in a society well in a world where there are more cell phones and devices than ever it's just not necessary it's becoming decreasingly necessary to actually talk to people and touch people and I think that's a big part of our humanity. So, I mean, I, I think that's what makes us us to a large extent. There are other animals who do similar things, but I think that touch is important. I also think that having more skinship might mean that as adults, people end up feeling less detached. Not to say that you don't have detached feeling people in the U.S., because um, that's a complete lie. But 
at the same time, you know, you always hear, I don't know how true this is either about the suicide rates in Japan because I've never researched it, but you always hear about the high suicide rates in Japan. And, you know, I suspect that sometimes it's because people feel detached or lonely. All they do is go, go to work every day, day in and day out. And it's easy to kind of fall into that pattern. I mean, not that you'll commit suicide, but I remember being here feeling really detached like that first year. Um, or at like the end of that first year. Not the entire time, but there are times when you do feel detached. And I think that that physical contact can sometimes help, you know, breach that detachment, help you, I'm sorry, or bridge that detachment, help you get connected to, to people again. Okay, guys, well, that wraps it up for Japan Talk Session 5. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Then please leave your comments. I want to hear what you think. So is it better to live in a society where there's more skinship or less skinship? And I suspect that a lot of people are going to answer more skinship. But if you answer that, please say why. Or if you just want to be devil's advocate and argue the opposite point just for kicks, I'd love to see what you say. All right, this is Donald with thejapanguide.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Session five. Session five. Session five. I know what they're trying to do. The word off means sale and then hardware. So when they say hard off, that's the name of the store. But to me, it just sounds like you have a shop full of things that make you have a very flaccid, flaccid penis. We take the word skin and then we take kinship and then we put it together. Oh, you got skinship. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but once your mouth opens and your tongue comes out, you're on a different level of skinship.